What's up guys? Uh, this is going to be an update on just some of the animals uh, that I've recently got. Um, some of the animals that are gone. I am doing some downsizing on specific stuff. Um, stuff that I'm not breeding, that I'm not really handling. Uh, some stuff that really is more of a display animal that I'm not real passionate about. I have downsized some of those. Uh, for example, my flying gecko is gone, both of them. Um, a few young ball pythons that I was planning on raising up, but I'm impatient, I can't deal with that. Especially because it was a female. It's a lot of work to put into a female uh, to only be able to get one clutch out of her. Whereas if you raise up a male, you can get multiple. Uh, you can breed him to multiple females. So I got rid of a few young ball pythons. I got rid of the flying geckos, got rid of my blue iguana. Um, that being said, I have gotten some new stuff. I got a lot of new tarantulas over here. I'll do an update on them. I'll uh, get some up close shots for you guys. But I got uh, Lassiodora parahibana, I believe is the scientific name. Um, that is the salmon pink bird eater, I believe. Uh, third largest tarantula in the world. Um, what else did I get in that? I got a horned baboon. Um, I got a Venezuelan sun tiger. What else? I got some really good stuff. Uh, Chaco Goldeny, um, a bunch of new tarantulas. Um, they are so easy to care for. Tarantulas are really easy and the species that I got are all really beautiful. Um, so I have that to look forward to as they get older. Hey, Sophie, this is another new addition. This was my fiance's early Christmas present if she'll come out here and see me. Nope, she doesn't want to come out from under there. I don't know why it's not letting me spin it around. So I'll just slide over, I guess. There she goes. See? Nope. She is a giant Fleming uh, rabbit. Believe it or not, she's about eight pounds, I think, right now. And she's only nine months old. I think they said her mom was like 16 pounds. So she's actually going to double uh, in size and already she is a fairly large bunny she is litter trained and crate trained you tell her to go home she goes home um, got a nice big cage for her. Uh, she's in there right now um, when we're not down here which we are down here a ton so she is out a lot but she goes in her cage when we're not down here just because she likes to chew on cords uh, we're working on getting everything put up to where she can just roam down here. But I guess I will get to some updates on the tarantulas. It's mainly what this video is going to be, is tarantula updates. Because i got a lot of new tarantulas. So I'm going to go over a lot of them. Uh, and give you guys some updates on even older tarantulas that are starting to get some size to them. I uh, did a rehouse yesterday. Um... I did not record that just because I was rehousing so many. Um, I actually had to get some help from my brother to come over uh, to help me get them all rehoused. I rehoused like seven tarantulas uh, and then I fed them all today. Uh, let me know if that's something you guys want to see in the future is rehouses. Um, until then, I'm going to go ahead and do some updates on some stuff that's changed down here since the last video. This is new guys, we changed uh, Archie, the blue tongue skink. Um, got him over to Cypress Mulch instead of Aspen. Um, and he seems to be really liking it. Uh, we just did this earlier and uh, it seems to be doing good for him. Um, he was shedding and I've noticed since we put him into Cypress Mulch, a lot of his shed has come off. So that's a plus. This is another enclosure update. I uh, changed my Euromastics tank around, changed out the sand in it, got some fresh sand in there for him. Uh, he's got a nice hide here with this log and rock, uh, nice basking spot up there, and then he's got 
his cork bark that he is able to burrow under, which he already has. Um, he is down in there, you probably can't see him. And then down here, we have my Zero Bearded Dragon, who's starting to get pretty big. She is so sassy. Um, I don't know what her problem is, but she is always hungry, and she's kind of feisty, to be honest. We have uh, three other beardies, and this one is by far the sassiest, but also probably the prettiest. So, uh, what she lacks in personality, she makes up for um, by being really pretty. So that's Daisy, the Zero Bearded Dragon. This is another enclosure update. I uh, changed out the dirt in my cane toads tank. Um, starting to get a little bit of size to them. You can see them kind of next to my hand here. It's getting pretty big. Let's see if I can get him to come out a little more. There we go. He's stubborn. There we go. As you can see, he's really pretty. Get an up close shot, maybe. There we go. What's up, Hank? Look how pretty that eye is. Uh, in case you guys were wondering, this is the new phone. Um, the camera is awesome, and I really think this is going to help me out with my videos a lot. So hopefully you guys like the new camera. Um, it looks like it's going to be incredible video-wise um, and picture-wise. So uh, if you guys haven't yet, I do have an Instagram. It's Comikey Reptiles. Um, and I also have a Facebook, Comikey Reptiles. So if you haven't followed me on there, please go check me out. Um, and I do updates and stuff on there as well. But uh, that's the cane tone, Hank, and his new setup that he's got. All right, guys, this is the uh, first tarantula update here. This is the first new one. You can see it tucked, hopefully you can see it, tucked back behind its cork bark here. Of course, it webbed it all up already, so you're going to have a hard time seeing it in there. There we go. There's a little better. That is P. regalis, um, the Indian ornamental uh, tree spider. Um, it's a fairly venomous species, um, not a fun bite, not one you want to be bit by, um, but also an extremely beautiful species. Uh, unfortunately, also a very fast species, so getting it into this house was not fun. Um, it's just in this little critter keeper. Um, they are arboreal and they live in trees and they're wild. Uh, so it does have this little cork bark, which it's made its home. It's also got some leaves for cover um, and some climbing space. So that is P. regalis. Uh, that's one of the new ones. Um, I will just slide her, hopefully her, at least, out of the way and we'll move right along here. All right, that is the Green Bottle Blue, who's starting to get some size to it. Uh, one of my favorite tarantulas, it is a terrestrial tarantula. Uh, opportunistic burrower. Um, it will lose that pattern on its abdomen as it gets older and will get brighter blue. Uh, the carapace will turn green, which is the head segment, and the abdomen will stay a nice orange color. Uh, starting to get its blues now, as you can kind of see here. Um, that is the green bottle blue that's in this nice size tubware here. I picked up a two pack for 88 cents. It's a really good deal at Walmart. Um, so that's the green bottle blue. There we go. See him running around. There he went. There we go. This is the pumpkin patch tarantula. Uh, really pretty tarantula. It is a dwarf species, so it doesn't get very big. Um, got a pumpkin patch because hopefully you can see that its abdomen looks like a pumpkin patch looks like it has rows of pumpkins running down the abdomen hopefully you guys can see that there we go um, this is a really fast tarantula um, they're usually pretty docile mine of course is pretty feisty 
Hey, Sophie. Sorry, my rabbit's over there chewing on some cords. Um, but really pretty tarantula. It is in pre-molt. That's why its abdomen is so swollen. Um, so it should be molting here pretty soon. So I'll give another update once it molts. Next update, this is my red knee, my Brachiopelma smithy. Um, another terrestrial species known to be extremely docile, but this one loves to kick hairs. Um, kicks hairs constantly. As soon as you open the lid, it starts kicking away. Um, it is starting to get some size to it. It's growing pretty fast. Um, really pretty tarantula. It's got really nice red knees to it now. It's starting to get its adult coloring. Um, also in one of these nice sized Tupperwares, just with ventilation holes poked in it, of course. Um, so that's it, starting to get some size. Hopefully it starts to mellow out a little bit once it gets a little bigger. Uh, but until then, that is my Brachiopoma smithy. Um, the last three tarantulas that I've showed you, I think you've seen, um, except for the Indian ornamental. So uh, we'll get to some new ones as we go up the rack here. Alright guys, this is the next new tarantula here. Tiny little thing. Uh, this is the, hopefully you can see it's got a little fruit fly in its fangs there. I know it's tiny, but this is the Brazilian red and white tarantula. Uh, it is just a little sling, um, tiny little sling. This guy actually gets some pretty good size to him as he gets older um, and gets to be really pretty. Sit him to the side. I don't believe I did an update on this one, the last video I did. This is my red rump, another really pretty tarantula species. You can see the nice red hairs on the abdomen. Um, it is a pretty aggressive tarantula. Um, it does try to attack the tongs as I'm getting its water bowl and stuff like that out. Um, as you can see, it's a little fired up by just the light here. Um, but that is the red rump tarantula. Uh, this is Lassiodora parahibana. Um, tiny little thing right there. You can see it right up front, hopefully. There it is. Right there. That is the Brazilian pink bird eater. Um, I believe uh, third largest tarantula in the world. Um, hard to believe that that little tiny thing flying around there is the third largest tarantula in the world. But uh, it is just a little sling eating flightless, flightless fruit flies at the moment. Then we have this is the, if I can find it, you can see a leg sticking out of the hole right there, hopefully. A couple legs and some hair. There we go. That is the Venezuelan sun tiger. That is a new one. Down in its hole, most likely. This one is burrowed in here somewhere. But uh, this is the Chaco Golden Knee, a uh, very docile tarantula and gets pretty good size to it. It's a good beginner species. Um, all that noise you hear in the background is the bunny hopping around in case anybody was wondering. But uh, this is the Chaco Golden Knee. Uh, like I said, it gets a good size to it. Um, and it's a really pretty tarantula and extremely docile. Um, it's down in there somewhere. Uh, that might be its abdomen right there that you can see kind of reflecting back actually. Right. Let me see if I can point to it right there. Yeah, there you go. It's moving around. It's burrowing. That's kind of cool. You can see it digging in there. Um, okay, up here we have this somewhere in here. Somewhere in here is the horned baboon tarantula. Oh, there it is. See its abdomen right there? There we go. That is the horned baboon. 
also a new tarantula. In there, eating, we have the curly-haired tarantula who just got a upgrade on his enclosure. And here is my pink toe, who is a tarantula that I've had for a little while. Um, you guys have seen it in previous videos. And this one up here, I am not sure. This one here that is eating at the moment is one that I actually am not familiar with. Um, it's the Brazilian Giant Blonde. A very fuzzy tarantula when it gets older and extremely pretty. Uh, I don't know much about the temperament. I need to do some more reading up on that. But uh, not one that I've seen around very much and an extremely pretty tarantula as it gets older. Um, so this is the Brazilian Giant Blonde. Uh, other than that, guys, I think that's all the new ones. We have seven new tarantulas, uh, so we're up to like 19 arachnid species, uh, so a pretty good amount. This is the last arachnid update. Um, kind of hard to see this little fella. Uh, hopefully you can see it right here on the glass. This is the regal jumping spider. Um, this guy was making webs all over my house. Um, and I see him several times miss flies that were in my house. Um, he wasn't a very good at catching them. Oh, there you go. You can see his nice green, green fangs there. Look at that. Um, but I did see him miss several times. Um, sorry, I got distracted. I think he was doing a little drumming. This might actually be a male um, looking for a female. But uh, he, I seen him around for about three days, so I ended up putting him in this enclosure that I had for a regal jumping spider previously, who passed away of old age. Um, so that's the last arachnid update. I'm gonna do a quick little preview of the bunny where you could see her a little better, and that'll be it for this video, guys. This is gonna be the last update. This here is Sophie. She is... Um, a Flemish giant bunny. Uh, she is litter trained and crate trained. Um, she's also blind in one eye. So if you notice her leaning her head a little bit to the side, that is why. Uh, she walks kind of sideways sometimes because of that. And as you can see, she likes to get into mischief. Um, she's very mischievous. Hey, Sophie, get out of here. Come on. Oh, what a brat. All right, guys, I just wanted to do a quick update on the tarantulas that I got the other day. That was the main thing. Uh, let you see that and see how the camera quality is going to be with this camera. So uh, hope you guys enjoyed the little update, and I will see you guys in the next video.